All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fabs in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in the house with the Alliance Design uh, CMF Collaboration Conquest uh, here with me for a review. We're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this fella. But first of all, uh, I need to say a huge shout out to my buddy Eden for sending this guy along. So I am able to share my uh, impressions with you and uh, uh, with the community. And second of all, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave me a comment down below. You can also check out fablades.com and you can also check out at fablades on Instagram. Let me see, let me know what you guys think about uh, everything uh, that I'm showing to you. So. Let's get started, 3.2 inches for the cutting edge and 4.6 inch long for the handle. Overall, it's 8.1, I would say, um, inches for the overall length of this uh, Conquest. Benchmade bug out and Benchmade mini bug out are still gonna be smaller than this uh, uh, CMF uh, collaboration with Alliance Designs. And a couple of spider codes you get to see here, Paramilitary 2 and Para 3, and you get the CMF uh, collaboration is right in between these two fellas. Um, let's see Chris Reeve Knives uh, because he's offering large uh, Sebenza 21 and uh, small Sebenza 21, which are, we are pretty much in the realm of the large, of course, uh, smaller, uh, bigger than the small. And uh, that's the Hinderer Knives XM18, 3.5 inch long. So a little bit better handle to blade ratio for the Alliance design. Up here you get to see a BBM collaboration between Nick Chuprin and Robert Carter. Let me show you a couple of Shiro, of course. Here you get to see the Tabargan uh, axis lock and up here you get the Neon NL custom division and just another couple here from Holt Blade Works, you get the Haptic and the Spectre, both in a prestige configuration to show you that the uh, Conquest is uh, on the same ballpark of the Spectre, a little bit bigger than the Haptic for sure. So here we have uh, this uh, um, very cool collaboration between Alliance Designs and uh, CMF Metalworks by Ian Pikarski. So this is the Conquest, uh, it is, uh, a very interesting one. This fat carbon version is going to be around four hundred dollars. Uh, I think four fifty with the dama steel. I might be wrong. Probably a little bit more. But uh, Alliance Design uh, uh, is uh, has pretty well contained prices, especially for the quality and uh, the fit and finish and the materials employed uh, to uh, bring you uh, something that would be otherwise really expensive like this custom and hardly obtainable. Uh, therefore you get the um, China made uh, version of this uh, fantastic and iconic custom knives. And this is uh, uh, no exception. This is the uh, CMF Alliance Design Collaboration Conquest and it's a pretty cool frame lock. It's coming with uh, a fat carbon uh, Arctic blue uh, scale with some holes and nice, uh, uh, look at the detail. You can actually see the layers uh, going on over here on the scale. How cool is that? unique every every knife is gonna have a unique pattern and that's a fantastic thing to have your own looking uh, knife really really cool um, also the finish is nicely done you get a little bit of chamfering going on on the sides there's of course no skeletonization on the inside you only get uh, uh, these holes and nothing on the you know there's no internal milling uh, uh, on the titanium or nor on the uh, fat carbon uh, you also don't have any lanyard hole option. You get two uh, standoffs right over here, no backspacer. Uh, you get a perfectly centered tip, which uh, you can touch. You see, you can just touch it. It's not dangerous, uh, but like, for example, in the custom I pointed out in that video, it's a little bit, you see, sticking out a little bit more. You can pull out uh, with your fingernail the uh, tip of the blade. There's uh, less of that issue here, but still I can feel a little bit uh, of that. Um, you have uh, overall, I mean, a very cool looking design, pretty unique, uh, nice divot here. You get the swedge, uh, large finger groove. Uh, this uh, curvature over here on the handle is very unique. I, I, I dig the, the look uh, indeed uh, cmf has some pretty cool designs uh, 100 percent 
Uh, also, like you get um, a pretty simple construction. As you can see, you get two screws on the handle and one pivot screw. Uh, this guy is gonna be a T8. Uh, I bet these are both T8. Uh, Torx bit, so pretty flush, not completely flush. You see sticking out a little bit, but nothing uh, obnoxious, for, of course. Uh, there is no stainless steel lock face insert. There is no over travel lock bar stabilizer, but that is in the, um, to, to respect, let's say the design choices of the custom. So uh, that's why it's like that. Um, also like, you know, there's not gonna be any disassembly video for this one, but it's pretty straightforward. You take it down from the handle, you remove the pivot and you're pretty much done. No, no biggie whatsoever in uh, uh, maintaining this guy. You have a, a tip-up carry only pocket clip, not reversible, titanium, nicely milled with a pretty cool tension, exiting ramp steeper than the entering ramp. So it's gonna be working nicely in your pocket. So that's good, but it's not reversible. Just keep that in mind. And then you have this blade Dama steel looking cool uh, with the swedge. There's no jimping, just like a divot uh, right over here and then this swedge uh, reaching the tip of the blade kind of like upswept persian uh, tanto uh, sorry persian uh, uh, style full belly uh, sharpening choil right over here hollow grind nice and polished uh, uh, pretty cool etching going on you get the cmf logo on this side alliance designs logo on the other side not much billboarding when uh, it comes to uh, the dama steel is needed um, you get some nice chamfer you see around the finger choil it's sharpened up to the end this beautiful hollow grind is gonna uh, make this knife a pretty nice slicer but Let's quickly check uh, thickness on this stock. It's going to be 0 0.1575 and the thick thickness, be thickness behind edge is going to be 0 0.021. So it is uh, kind of like relatively thick stock, but behind the edge is nice. It feels pretty thin. That's, that's, that's good. I mean, it's going to be a nice slicer, super pointy. This can be used like for hunting easily. Look at that. That's, that's a pretty pointy point. And um, let's also check the sound because this guy it doesn't make a lot of noise. It's pretty quiet, subdued and uh, not blasting not resounding, very well contained, uh, uh, let me tell you. Um, also, I wanna check the weight on this guy because it's gonna be very well contained under four ounces. This is gonna be 3.1 ounces, look at that, uh, compared to the almost four ounces of the custom because that's full titanium, this fat carbon is gonna uh, contribute to reduce the weight uh, big time. Also like for the ergos, uh, we are doing very well with this uh, finger groove, a little bit of uh, uh, sharpened, uh, uh, sharp edges over here and over here when you squeeze. If you do a more advanced grip, you're gonna have less risks of uh, uh, meeting that hot spot right there because you're gonna be a, a little bit more advanced, but still not too bad. I love this finger groove by the way. Um, the uh, lock bar access is uh, not too bad. I always like a little bit more room, a little bit more accessibility, but that's it's gonna do. Um, I would probably not do any reverse grip because of this uh, pointy area here. It's very good for the, the forward like that. That's going to be working absolutely well, but not so much on the reverse grip. Uh, the knife feels really solid in the head. Thick uh, slabs, there's no flex, there's nothing rattling. Fit and finish is spot on. Uh, Alliance Design is making a fantastic work in uh, reproducing, let's say, recreating the feel and the look, of course, of uh, the uh, that you get from a custom. So if you have the chance to compare these two, yeah, this is very, very well made. I mean, there's no blade play. Uh, the uh, the jimping here is going to be nicely uh, useful when you do a light switch method. You can do also like a kind of like a push button, but it's going to be hurting your finger. So stick with the uh, light switch, uh, um, do yourself a favor. And you have uh, bearings, of course, contributing to this uh, pretty cool uh, action. There's no 
you see it just uh, there's no guillotine effect you gotta have to wiggle a little bit but the detent is nicely dialed in uh, with the right strength I uh, feel a very nice detent ball ramp so there's no hard step going on over here and that is gonna contribute to have a pretty cool action when you close the knife and overall this knife looks pretty good I love this area over here uh, maybe a little bit of jimping a little bit of uh, less pointy and more accessibility to the lock bar are gonna contribute to make something uh, that I used to call like a home run because this is a very cool and neat new look so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching stay tuned